Go for it. Okay, two phones. Well, first of all, I can do this. I can look at my calendar and then do, and, and do I don't switch back and forth. But mainly, this phone's the pri. Oh shit! Sorry, hello. <laughs> hello. Hi, I'm Alex Wang and I sell Silicon Valley Real Estate. So we are here at this little two bedroom, one bath, 1,000 square foot house in the little neighborhood called College Terrace. 12 blocks by two blocks right next to Stanford University. Come on in and let me show you around. Tenant just moved out and so we've got a little bit of work for us to do here. We're gonna be removing the hardware, the window coverings, you know, clearing out, hauling out all the junk in here. You know, doing some good interior paint. Paint job, this kitchen was updated a little while back and so it just needs to be a little bit clean, cleaned up a little bit. Let's see, fridge needs to be cleaned. Yeah. Pretty standard little, little lot. This is on a 4,250 square foot lot. So it's a non-conforming smaller uh, lot size than your typical lot in Palo Alto. Uh, the College Terrace is known for uh, the smaller lots. All this stuff will be, be hauling all this stuff out. And of course we got the, the, the bedroom here. And then uh, why don't I bring you guys outside. You know, nice little backyard. Yeah, some deferred maintenance, some paints and stuff like that. Yeah, but a really nice little little property for uh, someone that's looking to be close to the university, you know, close to Palo Alto, downtown. This is a real central location. We've got the separate one car garage. Hey guys, so we're here at day two, um, getting getting college ready, and so just taking in, taking a walk through the property. Um, interior's been painted. Uh, we're still waiting for windows, a little bit of a delay of the windows coming in, um, a little, but uh, once the windows kind of get in, we'll get the, the house retrofitted with the windows and uh, with the sliding glass door, this deck over here, we're gonna be cleaning this up a little bit. This is really a little bit overgrown, so you can't really even see the house from the street front. So we're gonna kind of clean that up a little bit, clean this up a little bit. Nothing too crazy, right? This, this house is easily, someone could come out and just knock the whole thing down and build a brand new house. But they didn't want to, they want to rent it out. They want to live in it while they're plan doing planning with the city. Then it's perfect property for that. So right now, a property like this, you know, you're looking at, you know, it's on a 4,300 square foot lot in prime college terrace area. Things are selling in like the two and a half to three million range. And so that's probably what we're targeting. Just a matter of, there's that range, it's kind of figure out how we're gonna to get to the highest end of that range. You guys, so that was a, a call with an agent calling me. Basically, once again, presenting the offer in person is so important, but this time the listing agent is not available to present in person, so what do you do? So I'm coaching the agent saying, hey, you know what the best thing to do is to be able to do this, this, and that, you know, in more details, basically, at least get the offer over by email and have a phone conversation, a live conversation, real conversation with the agent to walk them through your offer. And they're probably not even reading the email that you're sending, they're just downloading the, the offer and putting it with the other offers. And so it's so important to be able to have real conversations. All right, on to the next one.
Hey guys, we're here at my listing on College in College Terrace in Palo Alto, just minutes away from Stanford, and we are in contract. This property went on the market on Wednesday, and then on third Friday during the broker tour, I was already getting calls from agents saying, hey, Alex, I have a buyer, I'm interested, I wanna see the property, and so they go, we got them in, buyer was interested, they wrote an offer, and they wrote an offer right away. Now typically in our market, our market moves so quickly that people really wanna buy properties, but at the same time, sometimes I'll defer and set a deadline for follow, perhaps the following week after the open house. Well, this agent, this buyer was really, really intent on making an offer, so they made, made what we call a preemptive offer. So we're listed at 2.2, they made an offer at 2.3 million, all cash. Not a bad offer, so we present it to the sellers, make a decision. Do we A, do we take the offer and just go ahead and sell it, we're done with it, or do we wait and see if we can get more activity and a better price net the following week? And obviously the risk of that is that we're gonna, the buyer may walk away and not come back. So anyways, we decided, hey, we don't know if we can get a better offer, so we decided to hold off, respectfully decline the offer, ask them to come back later, had the open houses, good activity during the Saturday and Sunday open house. Following week, I'm making calls, making calls, making calls, ha making, having real conversations, seeing, hey, anyone else interested in making an offer? So it comes down to Wednesday, we're gonna set the offer deadline, bring the parties in, and we get one other offer. So I call the other agent back and says, hey, we're looking at offers, are you gonna resubmit your offer? And then it's, I'm nail biting, and then it's like, yeah, I'm not sure if they're gonna come in or not. And so my job is try to get them in, and they end up, coming back in, which is great. Came back in at 2.3, the other offer was not as good, and we could accept it. It was 2.3, seven day close, all cash. And so on Thursday is our day one of the contract, and we get that earnest money in, the 3% of the purchase price in escrow, seven day close, and then we'll be done. And now for the best part of this process, we are now sold. Mm -hmm.